Good morning. You're listening to FloridaLA.net, and I'm Kemp Har. Today my guest is Chris Stolpen, who's the creative director with the Mohawk Group, and we're in New York City at Mohawk's showroom. Chris, how you doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. It's so great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Well, this has actually been fun. I've been up here for a little over a day now. I'm at your FWD, which is the Future of Workplace Design meeting. This is the second year this has happened. We'll get into details on that. Before we do that, though, let's just talk a little bit about your background, how many years you've been at the Mohawk Group, and where you've worked prior to this. Yep, I've been creative director for Mohawk Group for the past few years, and um, I started about 13 years ago with Mohawk. Previous to that, I worked with Interface and Bentley Mills, and before that, I was a workplace designer for HLWR. Architects. Okay. So you came from the design background. That's where your education is, is in design? Absolutely. And it was really the impetus of, of uh, my design background that led me to create this conference, the uh, Future of Workplace Design. I really am committed to sharing the resources that I get to use, that I feel so lucky that I get to use, a lot of uh, blue chip resources, and you got to experience a little of that this morning. Mm-hmm. That's right. Let's talk about that. But before we get to that, this future of workplace design program that you put on it's two nights two full days you've got guests here tell us how this came about who's here and what you hope to achieve we put this out to all of our reps and they each make a case to us because it's become very popular this year we have people coming in from india the UK, and and certainly all throughout North America. Obviously, we have a lot of the big firms, but we have some end users joining us this year and folks who are looking for great content. Yeah, many of the major design firms are here. The specifiers that get into specifics around specifying floor covering, like you say, they're from across the country and even internationally. I've been real impressed with uh, you know about 70 or so guests you have here. They're here You've entertained them, you've had a little cocktail time last night, but today was really full. I'm sure their heads are hurting now based on all of the sensory (laughs) input. But you started out this morning taking them over to the Trend Union talk that was done by Lee Edelcourt. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, she's a fashion trend forecaster. And she focuses on apparel, and she's very observant. She's been doing this since the 80s. She's European. Yep, and if you don't know this, Time Magazine named her one of the top 25 most influential people in design. What we got to see this morning, in addition to the forecasts for 2016, 2017, because they don't do it every year, is the architecture and design forecast. They only do that every two years. So I was so grateful that this group of people got to share in that experience as well. One of the things I've got to wonder when I see somebody that famous doing this is, is she driving fashion? I think she could very well be driving fashion. I mean, she's saying she's forecasting as as if there are other things that are going to make this happen. But she's talking about trend colors year out. And she pointed to these blues and these greens. And she she pointed to some of the things that are happening socially that are going to change the way people are thinking about design like this selfie that people are doing selfies. I know, and I thought that was absolutely brilliant because even more so important than in the trend colors, there's a lot of great organizations that provide that. What Lee and her global team provide are these major indicators of how people are going to react to certain things over the course of next year. And, and certainly color is a part of that, but it's really the ideas that give us the content to create these narratives when we're building our products. And that's why it's been so important, a mission of mine, to share what Trend Union is doing with our customers who are storytellers and creating their own narratives. Our guests from last year send me emails, sent me cards, how they've taken Lee's information and they've used it in presentations to get new business. They've shared it to inspire their design teams. And truly some of the takeaways I want to have this group come away with, because I I believe in a new conversation that has to happen between manufacturers and customer. It can't be, hey, I heard you got a project. I would like to sell you some flooring. I want this to be a more meaningful, a new way of us being able to share resources. All right. So we go to that this morning. You get them to think about fashion trends, and then we come back over here, and you introduce them to what your guys' thinkings are, and you also introduce them to a very 
a progressive design organization called InnoCat. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing, because some folks will instantly get to see how trend union is going to affect what they're doing. But we also want to show them how we take that as one layer of information and then overlay the ideas that we're talking about and that are important to us. And so we're tapping into quiet spaces, millennials, you know, all, all of the things that uh, we're all blogging about, we're all doing research on, and then how we pull all of that information through to create the categories that we create. And we also wanted to introduce them to InnoCAD because uh, they will be our collaborators for 2015 Neocon. And I think you can tell by the response, people were very, very intrigued. And we're going to be coming out with things that people haven't seen before. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, I asked you earlier what you hope to get out of this. Obviously, most people would know you want a relationship with these guests so that they'll think of you next time they're working on a project. But you also today, I mean, this last hour, you've showed them what you're going to roll out in 2015, and they're carrying around a clipboard. And not only are you asking them what do they like and what do they don't like, but you're asking them a very hard question of would you specify this product? Because there's a lot of time a designer would like a product and then maybe not think it's something they could use, right? Absolutely. And you know what? This is really giving us great information. Not only would you specify it, if you were, how much would you spend on it? I mean, we want to ask questions that we may not have typically asked where we may have gone to market, keeping our fingers crossed. So this is a more participatory way to do product development, but I also think it's the way of the future. It's it's really got to become a much larger conversation. Mm -hmm. One of the presentations you gave this afternoon is talking about the fundamental things that you guys are thinking about in your collaborative development process. You're talking about the effects of the millennium generation going to work. Some of the things I expected I would hear coming here as far as how the economics and the political situation are affected, the work environment, and some of the themes that you're using next year as you put products together, like greater good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we have four categories and our process after Neocon concludes in July, we're getting together and we're starting to build these ideas for the following year. As my uh, partner in crime, Jackie Detmar, Vice President of Product Development, shared with the group, it's about a nine month gestation process to go from the big ideas to drilling down to creating these categories for Neocon for product. And, and that's why, you you know, we wanted to start this so early. We want to have the influence of trend union, but we also wanted to have a global influence of some of the most important designers and design firms around the globe. Well, Chris, I'm very impressed with what I've seen here, and uh, congratulations. This is the second year of doing Thank this. You. Again, been talking to Chris Stulpen, who's creative director at Mohawk Group, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridelli.net.